So whenever you come across a patient in your casualty or the emergency department, before admitting the patient or before planning the perfect date for the surgery, if needed for the patient, so you basically do three viral marker tests before you exactly come in contact with the patient's blood. Okay. So what are the three viral markers you basically do? One is a HIV, another one is hepatitis B, and another one is hepatitis C. Right. So these three viral markers are one is HIV. This is a kit, simple rapid antigen kit you basically do for HIV. Okay. And this is H HCV. This is called as a hepatitis C virus kit. And this kit belongs to hepatitis B virus. Right. So these are the three basic tests or viral marker tests, the rapid test which you do before admitting the patient or before directly coming in contact with the patient's blood. Right. Now let us do all these tests. But before doing all these tests, one thing confirm is that you have to take the patient's blood at least 2 ml of the blood okay so you have to take the patient's 2 ml of blood and store it in the yellow container so this is the yellow vacutainer so the basic ingredient which you have here is just the gel no more ingredient okay so if there is any ingredient that will not let the blood clot then this blood will not clot this blood is already clotted okay it means in this container there is no ingredient so we use basically these yellow color tubes to assess any kind of viral markers so you need to store the blood in a container right let the blood clot and once the blood clot it leaves the serum above for example let me show you another sample you can see here very well this is the blood clot right and just above the blood clot you can find the serum which is formed so after the blood clot, the blood is left over with the serum above, right? This serum contains the viral antibodies. So we shall look exactly what are the different types of viral markers is this blood having, okay? So these are the basic viral markers which I have already told you. This is for HCV, hepatitis C virus, and this is for HBSAG that is hepatitis B antigen, and this is the HIV kit. Now, you basically have to collect the blood in a special containers called as vacuinators, right? So this is a vacuinator in which I have collected the blood. So these yellow color containers, they do not have any kind of additives inside. And you can very clearly see the blood has clotted all over here and there is a little layer of serum that is formed. So what we need for our test is serum. So once after collecting the blood, you have to put the tubes aside for at least 20 minutes for the proper serum to form. So this is how a proper serum is formed. Okay, now as you can see, this container the serum is not yet formed. Okay, right. So now let us take the blood of a patient who came to my clinic and he wanted to get checked for HIV, HBSAG, and HCV. So, what I will be doing is that I will have a special dropper called as plastic dropper. So, with the help of that plastic dropper, we basically take the serum out of the tube and then add into these three locations. Where you have to add, you have to add into these three pockets over here, right? So we don't have a plastic dropper right now. So we will be using the help with the help of the syringe, we shall draw the serum out. So this is the blood of the patient. I have uh, opened the cap, okay? So as you can see inside the blood, and there is a little amount of serum that is formed here. So now I'll be taking the serum out of that. So now I am slowly drawing the serum out. Right. So I have taken sufficient amount of serum in the syringe. Okay. Now let me close the cap. Now I have to add this serum inside these three pockets. So now I am adding for HCV. Now I'm adding for HBSAG and now I'm adding for HIV. Now let us see what will be the test report. It is necessary that we elevate this so that the fluid flows down quickly. And we shall also elevate this too 
because the fluid coming down is the serum which is coming down is too late as you are already seeing here the hcv test kit is done and now let us wait for hbsag and hiv to run right i think we are almost done with the test now as you can see here one basic rule which you need to understand here is that here you find two alphabets right so here you need to know two important things you find two alphabets here one is c another one is t c stands for confirm and t stands for test so as you can see two important alphabets over here what are these one is c another one is t so c stands for control and t stands for test right so if you find a line near control and near test it means if you find a double line in this test kit it means the test is positive it means you are having hcv virus in the same way if there are double lines on this hiv kit again the same it should be positive and the same applies to hbsag now as you can see in this patient you found there is one line on c which means it is negative okay if you find double line it is positive if there is only single line it is negative in the same way here you can see only single line on the hiv test kit in the same way for hbsag you cannot see that clearly but uh, if possible you can see here there is a small shadow over here let me indicate it with the syringe you can see there is a small shadow over here exactly at this place right so actu actually this line is present near c which is control it means he is also hbsag negative okay right so if you see double line it is positive but if you see single line then it is negative but important thing is that you can also see sometimes single line on control or you can also see single line on the test side if you see single line on the test side but no line on c what does it indicate it indicates that this test which you have done has got a error in that you need to repeat the test okay if you have see, if again i'm telling you if you see only a single line at the t side and there is no line at the c side it means the test is wrong there is an error within the test and you have to repeat the test but if you see single line on c and no line on t which means the test is negative okay the same for hiv the line is present on the c side which is control which you cannot see here in the video but i can see myself and in the same way for hbsag patient also repeat and for the, in the same way even on the hbsag kit also i find a single line which means single line on control which means the test is negative so let us see another blood group right another patient who is a positive blood group and let us see he came to my clinic for his diagnostic checkup so let us see whether he is hiv positive hcv or hbsag positive i'll also show the examples of when it is hiv positive how it is going to be when it is hcv positive and how it is going to be when it is hbsag positive and how the kit is going to be let us discuss all of them so here is a test kit for hcv let us see i have got a sample of the patient right so let us see whether this patient is hcv positive or negative now he is a suspected case of hcv so let us see is hcv positive or negative so let me open the test kit this is a test kit for hcv right so in this test kit we got two important things one is control another one is test and this is a dropping point so let us take the blood of the patient now this is the sample of the patient we we can see very good clotting of blood and very good serum here right all this is the serum so let us add this serum there and check whether the patient is hcv positive or not so let me open the cap up right i have taken the serum let me close the cap right now let me add this serum to the droplet right 
Now let us wait for the result to come. So yeah, this patient is HCV negative. Now here comes another case. So the patient is afraid that he might have hepatitis B virus. So let us check for his viral markers. So now let me check the viral markers for the patient with hepatitis B. Positive. So this is the HBSAG kit. So let me take the blood of the patient. So this is the sample which I have taken in the yellow tube and you can see very clearly how the serum is formed. Now let me extract some amount of blood and check whether the patient is HBS positive or no. So let me take the blood now. Right, so this is the serum which I have taken. Now let me add this. And let's wait for the result to come. So as you can see here, you can see two lines, right? So one over the control and another one over the test. So this means this patient is HBS AG positive. If you can very clearly see here, right? I hope you can see two lines, right? One over the control, another one over the test. So this is a HBS AG positive blood. Now let us check the patient of HIV, right? So he is a suspect of HIV and let us check whether the patient is really having HIV or not. So let me open the kit. This is a small strip. This is a small strip. So let me place the blood over here and see whether the patient is HIV positive or not. So this is the blood sample which I have got in the lab. So let me check this for HIV. So I have taken sufficient amount of serum now. So I'm dropping the serum onto the HIV marker strip. Now let us wait for the test to run. So as you can very clearly see two lines near the control at the same time near the test. You can find two different lines, right? So if there are two lines here, it means he is HIV positive. So this sample which I have got is a patient of HIV positive. So this is how you check for a viral marker. Thank you so much for watching. This is the end of the video.